Hey guys, it's JJ. Today I am going to be doing a review on one of the shows that I liked when I was a kid. It is called Family Matters. Family Matters is an American television sitcom that aired from September 22, 1989 to May 9, 1997. It is a spin-off of the series, Perfect Strangers. What was Harriet doing in there that whole time? No, Harriet used to run the elevator, but now she's got her own show. It's called Family Matters. Watch this. The series is about the Winslow family. They are a middle-class African-American family living in Chicago, Illinois. During the first season, we are introduced to Steve Urkel, the Winslow's nerdy neighbor. The way Steve says, did I do that, when he breaks something or causes some disruption to the Winslow family is iconic. His nerdy innocence is very humorous. I think it's funny how Steve really likes Laura, but she does not like him back. I find humor in their relationship. In the last season, he finally gets with Laura. I think this show can get really cheesy, especially when Steve makes a clone of himself. In this episode, Laura likes the clone Stefan better than Steve. I think that makes people not like Laura as much, because that is really shallow of her. I think the way Laura's dad gets annoyed with Steve is really funny. The audience never sees Steve's parents. He looks up to Carl Winslow like a father substitute. Steve annoys Carl and because of his clumsiness or eccentric idiosyncrasies, often causes Carl extra time, money and work. The Winslows really care about Steve even though he is a constant thorn in their side. Overall, this is a good show. I think I like Family Matters better than Perfect Strangers. I think the characters in Family Matter are livelier and more fun. What I think is interesting is that Judy Winslow was another child of the Winslow family, but after a few episodes, she disappeared and the cast of the show acted as if she never existed. Harriet and Carl Winslow, the parents, acted as if they only had two kids Eddie and Laura. This also reminds me of the show Happy Days, when Chuck was just forgotten from the show. At the beginning of season 2, Chuck was written out of the show with the explanation that he had gone off to college. After that, Chuck was never heard from or mentioned again. I find this connection between the shows to be very unique. I like Steve's girlfriend, Myra. I think when Steve cloned himself, Myra redeemed herself as a real loving girlfriend. Laura only liked Steve when he transformed into Stefan, but Myra was the one who liked Steve in his original form. Myra is not shallow because she likes Steve for who he really is, unlike Laura, who just wants a cool guy to date. In my opinion, TV shows were funnier back then. Nowadays, humor is too censored and filtered to cater to SJWs. Shows now focus too heavily on modern political ideas. These are just my personal opinions, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more.